long-term regret. Well, I would say uh, stop growing tobacco. Stop growing tobacco and start growing vegetables, or vegetables as we call them. Uh, grow things that you can consume. Just a big word that them college boys who come from the college to help without farming. They say things like consume. But I'm talking about eat. Stay away from the smoking thing. My pappy lived to 112. He smoked day and night. He got run over by a tractor, but that's another story. Okay, so I guess it's And, uh, DJ Yo. DJ Yo's in the house, and I'm going to say, don't start smoking tomorrow or today. Because it's really stupid. And that's what I'm saying. Instead of smoking, go outside and start playing. Okay. That's a, yeah, that's great. Yeah, for sure. Physical exercise. Play it. Yo. Yo. Uh, so, uh, another advice question. Uh, something at work. Uh, how, how to you? find a job. Find you a job. <laughs> okay. Well, do you have a resume? <laughs> that would be good. You know, you need to have identifiable skills. No one's going to hire you because of your look, shit. <laughs> you must be able to go in and be productive in a work environment. And personally, you know, being able to knock back a couple mar margaritas every night is not really much of a qualification. So perhaps you could dust up on your skills before you go back into the work uh, workplace. Okay, that's some advice. Uh, uh, get yourself some skills and a good resume. Uh, Farmer Brown. <laughs> well, you know, my pappy used to say that he drug me out of bed at 5.30 in the morning. If you don't want to go to school, you're going to work. And that's what he did. I worked in the farm. I got my hands dirty in the earth. So if you're too lazy to get up out of bed, you know all that stuff you find in the supermarket? I grow that. Okay. Well, did you grow that kumquat I got last week that made me so sick? I don't even know where kumquats come from. Oh, that was just disgusting. I'm going to have kumquats. you in court before long. <laughs> get a combine. Get a job. This is America. you got to work. Okay, so I guess uh, the best way to get a job is to get a job, maybe uh, Farm, work on a farm, right, right, or maybe someone would like to hire to clean up his yeah. Okay. You didn't grow Pepsi. Okay. Uh, yeah, DJ Yo. Uh, honey. So here's the problem. You need a job. Instead of sitting around the house and being a slob, I've got two things I'd like to tell you now. Go down the street to the labor board and how. Sign up for some help from one of them people. Don't go to church and pray at the steeple, because that's not going to help. you got to get out there and walk, and that is the end of this getting a job talk. Oh. Okay, very good. Right. That's the best way to get a job. <laughs> you look for a job, and you uh, can look up your local uh, job board. I'm suddenly afraid. Okay, uh, <laughs> afraid. okay uh, uh, another, uh, another question, maybe about one's um, uh, personal relationships, uh, love life, as it were. Apparently no one has a love life. <laughs> or everyone is perfect. You're I don't have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> oh, that's a good excellent question. Why don't you say how how do you keep your family, the rest of your family, from embarrassing you in public? Well, let me ask you, are, are you related by blood? Yeah. Well, you don't have much choice in that, do you? <laughs> Well, uh, I think that uh, the best thing is social distance. <laughs> uh, you know, you call on and you, uh, you know, you agree to meet somewhere, right? And then, you know, you just kind of are in the same room, so you're at the same event. But, you know, nobody would realize you're actually together. And then that way, you know, if he has an embarrassing physical breakdown in terms of, you know, unable to control his bodily function, you know, it, it's less embarrassing. You know, I, you know, you, you can always change your phone number and work on your contact manager, and that that should get you. Uh, but you know, you could just talk to it too. Okay. So, uh, social distance, or basically pretend that you're not related to them. Oh, well, yeah. I, I, I've done that to all of my five husbands. Okay, that's good. Okay, social distance, as we call it. Herman Brown. Well, oh, I had this niece who talked too much, and she used to.
to help out around the house. You know, she talked too much and she'd say the darndest things. And actually, oftentimes it was embarrassing, especially when families around. Okay? We took her out the field one day, and she's never been seen again. <laughs> we had a great crop of corn. Fertilizer we used that year was fantastic. I'm not saying. You get, you get my, you get my drip? Okay, I'd rather not summarize that. Uh, DJ Yo. You didn't grow Oreo. So it's great now. I don't need I don't need it. I'm cool, man. Yo, good looking up. Right now, right now, I'm going to tell you something about me. you got a question about your family. Well, I'm actually pretty close to my parents. <laughs>